and girls, this is Mrs. Leisure from Ebner Elementary. Today in science, we're going to learn about the roles of living things. In nature, there are producers and consumers. Now you know the sun gives most living things their energy to survive. Living things that can make their own food are called producers. What are some examples of producers? Plants, like trees, bushes, grass, flowers, they're all producers. Algae, a single-celled organism, is also a producer. Some living things eat plants to get their energy to survive. Some living things eat other animals to get their energy to survive. Living things that can't make their own food and must eat other living things to get energy to live are consumers. What are some examples of consumers? Human beings, horses, and lions are all consumers. Now let's look at three types of consumers. There are herbivores, like elephants, carnivores, like lions, and omnivores like black bears. First, we'll look at herbivores. Herbivores are animals that eat only plants or producers. They eat all parts of the plant, including bark, the roots, even microscopic plants. They live in many different ecosystems. Some examples of herbivores are giraffes, rabbits, and squirrels. In your notebook, I'd like you to write down at least three examples of herbivores that could live in your neighborhood or town. You may stop the video so that you can write down your response. Now let's talk about carnivores. Carnivores are animals that only eat other animals. Like herbivores, they live in many different ecosystems. Some examples of carnivores are frogs, whales, sharks, and panthers. Again, in your notebook, write down three examples of carnivores that could live in your neighborhood or town. Now let's look at omnivores. Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and other animals. They also live in different ecosystems, such as rainforests or deciduous forests. Examples of omnivores are people, raccoons, and river hogs. In your notebook, write at least three examples of omnivores that could live in your neighborhood or town. Lastly, are you an herbivore, a carnivore, or an omnivore? Write down your response in your notebook. Now we will discuss decomposers. What is a decomposer? Is it a producer or a consumer? Decomposers are consumers. They cannot make their own food, so they can't be producers. They feed on the wastes and remains of dead plants and animals. They break down waste into nutrients, and then these nutrients become part of the soil. Plants grow in the soil and use the nutrients to help them grow. Then, as the plants die, they decay, and they become food for the decomposers again. And the cycle continues over and over again. 
Here are some examples of decomposers, bacteria, mushrooms, and earthworms. Here's an optional activity called eating decomposers that you can do at your house. Do you like mushrooms? Many people eat them regularly. If you have a cookbook at your house, take a look through the recipes and see how many recipes include mushrooms as an ingredient. I like mushrooms. I like pepperoni pizza with mushrooms. Mushrooms are also good with a good steak. And I usually put mushrooms in my pot roast whenever I make it in the crock pot. In your notebook, write down the names of the recipes that use mushrooms as an ingredient that you found in your cookbook. You can also use recipes that you find online if you don't have a cookbook handy. Here's a question for you. Would you try these recipes with your family? Why or why not? Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson about the roles of living things in nature. Tune in again another time to find out what else we can learn in science. Enjoy the rest of your day, boys and girls. See you next time.